What is DTV? What's the DTV transition? Why is this happening? Mi televisión va a trabajar. I've heard, heard about, about it. it. But does it really affect me? Do, do I have, have to do, do anything? anything? Do I have to buy a new TV? Isn't there a coupon you can get? No tengo problema, yo tengo satellite. All I want to do is watch the ball game. Will my TV still work? What's the, the answers are here, America. For the next 30 minutes, this is DTV Simplified. Hello there. Welcome to DTV Simplified, which is just what it sounds like, a show dedicated to clearing up the whole digital television transition you've probably been hearing about. Really, it's not that complicated. And we're going to get a lot of help from some experts, as well as regular folks like me and this guy, who really just enjoy watching TV without a lot of fuss. The transition isn't as hard to understand as you might think, but it is a huge deal. For some people, not doing anything could mean no more of their favorite programs. And for others, there's nothing to worry about at all. If you already have cable or satellite or a digital TV, you probably don't have to do a thing. Except to keep watching us. By the way, how do I know if I have a digital TV? We will get to that in a few minutes, but first, here's how you know if you don't have one. If you get your programs via rabbit ears or a rooftop antenna on an older TV, you most likely have an analog television, and you're definitely going to want to stay with us. Right. So, what is the DTV transition anyway? Well, at midnight on February 17th, 2009, all full-power television stations in the United States will stop broadcasting in analog and switch to 100% digital broadcasting. As for some low-power and non-commercial analog TV stations, more details on them as we go along. And digital broadcasting means you're more likely to see a clearer picture, hear better sound, and get more programming options. Not only that, but the DTV transition is going to free up airwaves for new purposes, including use by emergency responders in your community. And that's a good thing. Police, fire, emergency rescue personnel, all of these professionals will be assured uninterrupted contact with each other after the transition. We'll hear more on this from some gents in uniform later on. Another beneficial aspect to the transition of analog to digital TV is that digital broadcast is a more efficient transmission technology. So what does that mean? It means broadcasters will be able to fit more program information, better picture and sound quality, and even more channels into digital channel broadcast streams. It also allows for free over-the-air high-definition programming for homes with an HD TV. So if the idea of more channels, sharper TV images, cleaner sound, and freed up frequencies to help emergency personnel do their jobs better sounds pretty good to you, then you're starting to get why the switch from analog to digital TV, or DTV, is pretty exciting. 